Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you watch this. Uh, of course, this is this week with uh, me, Johnny Marquise. Um, I need to, uh, well, I don't, well, yeah, I do need to. I'm just going to explain to everybody that uh, it's probably not going to be as upbeat and <laughs> as it usually is. Uh, the last thing I'm going to talk about is going to be... Uh, a cousin of mine who uh, passed away and I'll explain everything to you it is COVID related and uh, so what I'm going to do uh, I'm gonna get started with some of the stuff not even go through the list I'm just gonna go through it as fast it's the stuff I want to talk about as fast as possible but I do want to start off with yeah uh, this Saturday uh, of course uh, it is the return of Bayou State Sports Saturday and and um, we're actually gonna bring it down to New Orleans. Uh, we're, we're uh, well, myself, Mike Garcia, George Peppis, George is back. So the three of us are gonna be over at Morning Call Coffee Stand. It's an original, the original location was in the French Quarter. Um, there is somewhat of a discussion of which one was first, Morning Call or Café du Monde. And, uh, we do know both of them started around the same time. Who started first and started second? Uh, it, it, it's a little fight to have, but uh, uh, doesn't matter. They both started in the French Quarter pretty much around the same time um, time frame uh, back in the mid late, late 1800s. So they, they both started around that time. Uh, morning call was in the French Quarter. They moved out to Battery, and they were behind uh, Lakeside Shopping Center uh, for for a good while there. Uh, then they moved to what well, they had a second location at City Park. They took over the old what they called the old casino building uh, on, in City Park. Uh, then they ran. Then they were basically run out of that little Metairie location because of their land, the landlord of the building and they had a little fight and then uh, well then City Park pulled the fast one and decided to uh, oh we're going to renegotiate this contract now they set it up sweetheart deal for, for Cafe Du Monde to come in there and take over so basically two years they were without a place uh, as they were trying to put it together where they were going to build or what they were going to do uh it, it kind of fell through during the COVID time when COVID hit, which hence they were out two years, but they did finally, somewhat during the pandemic, they did start building, constructing a building to where it would house both Morning Call Inn and Bud's Brawler, which was the other one down on uh, City Park Avenue that were right across from Delgado. They were forced out by their landlord. So now, uh, long story short, they're both at uh, Canal Boulevard at the corner of City Park Avenue. You can't miss it. That's where the uh, Canal Street street cars pretty much end there. Uh, so I think it's a, it's a great location. We're going to be there doing the show. We're actually going to do it one, one hour earlier instead of 8 a.m. Eastern. We're going to be doing it at 7 a.m. Eastern, and we'll be getting off at 9 a.m. Uh, we'll, well, 7 to 9 Central time is when we're going to do the show, and then we're going to head out to Saints training camp. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm very excited about it. I think we're going to talk more about the Saints. Uh, we were going to talk about transgenders in sports. Uh, we're going to kind of move that back to next next week, the 7th, when we're back at James Restaurant in Denham Springs. So we'll do that. Um, well, we got to be a little lighthearted about this because it is kind of funny, but it is kind of tells you where we're at these days. Um, the Green Bay Packers, I mean, was, they were trying everything in their power to try to convince Aaron Rodgers to come back. Well, I don't know if you heard what happened went down the other day. Well, uh, yesterday, actually. Uh, he kind of puts himself, literally, puts himself in the front office. He basically, basically saying, yeah, I'm going to be... <laughs> Uh, if I'm going to stay here in Green Bay, I'm going to, I'm going to have, have a say in personnel matters. So, supposedly, that was the big issue. Okay? 
Tom Brady never had personality uh, powers in New England, nor does he have in Tampa Bay. Drew Brees doesn't, didn't have him in New Orleans. Nobody else had him, but tell you what, Aaron, Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers got some stroke. He got it done. <laughs> still remains to be seen if he's going to stay there or not. Because, I mean, there's still... I mean, he said some harsh stuff, so... All right, well, if he stays, he stays, he stays. Okay. Uh, my Instagram and TikTok accounts, uh, they're, they're doing pretty good. starting to get, you know, do really well. Um, I, you know, I still got a ways to go before I can start broadcasting live on TikTok, but, but yeah, uh, and that's, it's moving on pretty good. And some of the new uh, followers that I'm getting, they're literally going back and watching my old stuff, which is what I want to see. I want, I want to get as many views, period, you know, no matter if it's new or old. But, I mean, they went back to some of my original stuff and, like, and commenting on it. So, I'm like, hey, you know, that's good. And Instagram is Instagram. I just wish all these women and all these young men who think that, oh, we're going to uh, convince this old man to show nude pictures of himself. Man, stop that. Just stop it. Just stop it, stop it, stop it. <laughs> All right, your best thing to do there is ignore. Ignore, ignore, ignore. Oh, this one's following you. And you click on it and you're like, well, I'm not following her back. <laughs> then they'll send you, they want to send you a message and then uh, you just delete. You just get rid of it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and then, uh, obviously, I'm, you know, but I'm doing pretty well, and I'm, I can't wait till I get the thousand, uh, follower on TikTok so I can start doing live stuff. What I need to figure out, and I'm starting to wonder if you gotta do, you gotta record stuff on your, on your, uh, on, on a computer or something, because, uh, I wanna know how they, I don't know how they do it yet, but you know where the words pop up, and then they pop, go away, and the new words pop up. I need to figure out how to do that. That that that's something I want to do. And it, they got that one song where they talk about the guy born in whatever 1964. Is it Jeffrey Basil or whoever that is? But then they put their own name. You know, they point to their own name and then they point to their age and and, and, and different stuff. And I, I didn't want to know how to do that. And then the other the the you know the boo -boo -boo -boo, whatever they do with that. I want to learn that too. I, I just think that'd be something I, it'd be funny to do. Uh, now I could maybe do some sports stuff with it. <laughs> uh, but no, I, I mean it is what it is. And uh, well, a young man that I that I that I uh, follow and they uh, actually friended up. Uh, he got he's online now. He's on on, on uh, Instagram and TikTok and. You know, and uh, he goes by the name. Well, uh, online, he's it's it's Evan Wade, but his name is uh, Evan Anderson. He uh, just hit ten thousand uh, followers on Instagram uh, just the other day. So uh, I wanted to you know to say a little quick congratulations to him. And uh, and Nick Horton turned twenty two. Uh, and uh, yeah, I got to say happy birthday to Nick too on on Instagram and. Uh, all that, yeah. He, of course, he's on you now as well, and uh, of course, because of, yeah, because of we're going to Saints camp. No, no new, new uh, you now music showcase this week. I'm not doing it this week because I, you know, we're going out to Saint the Saints training camp. Uh, we'll go see a practice, so which I've never done before, believe it or not. So I'm gonna go do it. Uh, it's a side. It was we we were doing the conjunction of doing the show, so. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so everything's working out good there. All right. Uh, the last few minutes I'm going to do here, um, I'm going to get serious because, you know, obviously COVID and this Delta variant or whatever it is, you know, what's happening now. Um, we got a virus that keeps seems to keep reinventing itself. Uh, so, uh, 
I don't know what to tell people. I'm not going to tell people to get vaccinated. I'm not going to tell people not to get vaccinated. I, I still prefer it to be a choice, but I think more people need to make, you know, you know, take a conscious effort figuring out what's going on here. This could be the combination of everybody taking this newfound freedom and running out for vacations and doing this, doing that. That might be one factor. Maybe unvaccinated people is another fact. I don't know. Uh, I'm not a scientist. I'm not going to say that. Um, I'm not going to say it one way or the other. But uh, also, I uh, just wish people would be more careful. You know, uh, because, well, I will had, I'm going to say had, 10 members of my family, my media family over, well, not my media family, my, my, my extended family, my family over in Chalmette, uh, uh, my, my dad's siblings and their, they, well, their kids uh, and grandkids. Uh, it was 10, well, the number's nine because uh, unfortunately one of them uh, lost her battle with, uh, with COVID and uh, Named uh, Je uh, Jennifer Zito, she, you know, one of my first cousins, my, my aunt, one of my aunt uh, Raynell uh, daughters. Uh, she passed away uh, late last night, uh, and uh, been talking to her. Well, her my other cousin, her sister Je uh, Jessica, and uh, we've been talking back and forth about stuff. But people need to be careful. And that's that's all I'm gonna say about that. Uh, things are happening and, and it, it's like it's blowing up again right when we're about to ready to send all the kids back to school and uh, hate to see this happening but uh, one thing I think everybody better remember and, and this is just to do, just for your own deal COVID's not going anywhere COVID's never going to go away it's, it's here to stay like the common cold like the flu, like pneumonia That's, it's, it's here to stay might as well just get used to it. And, and it's going to be a part of life. More than likely, I would keep hearing that more than likely, air travel will probably be, require a mask forever now. We don't know. Uh, but I, we're hearing uh, some stories to that. My wife, Laura, is a travel agent. She, she kind of hears some of that stuff too. And... It's probably going to happen in the cruise industry. Well, you'll probably have to be vaccinated or you're not going to go on a cruise. That's probably which, where we're we going with this. So, uh, I, you know, just we thought things were going to go away. But here we go. We're getting ready to start another high school football season. And here we're thinking, okay, well, I'm going to be in the air-conditioned press box this, this season. Chances are probably not. I'll probably be outside the press box once again. We'll see. We'll see how things go. Uh, as long as they don't do a bunch of crazy mandates, but people, be careful out there. That's all I'm going to say. And uh, I'm going to leave with a moment of silence for my cousin Jennifer. <laughs>